All right, guys, it's time for another easy sub three guide. And this week is a brand new one with Umbral Drask. Before we get started, though, I would like to remind everyone that I do stream on Twitch and every week I help people with sub three on streams on Thursdays. So if you guys are still struggling with your sub three, come stop by my stream and we'll give you some help. Links in the description. Now let's get into it. Drask modifiers this week is Behemoth Blitz, Umbral Instability, Splitting Umbral, Umbral Smolisks, and Electrify. Behemoth Blitz is going to increase his attack speed and is going to be pretty annoying. Umbral Instability is the Shroud Orb that sets our HP at 1. I don't think this is going to be much of an issue for a mod. You should most of, most of the time be handling Drask before this even becomes an issue. If this does become an issue though, just make sure that you pot up right after it hits you. And keep in mind this does remove Predator when this hits you. Putting Umbral is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to want to try to find a way to keep it from hitting us. I was hoping Pangar Lantern might take care of it, but in my run, it didn't seem like it did. So we're probably just going to have to pay attention to it and either keep away from it or just hit it. Umbral Garys, I think, are kind of going to be a non-factor as well. They should die pretty quickly to our Pangar Lantern, and we can easily remove the goo with a hit. Electrify should not matter at all. Any damage on Drass will remove this effect. I mostly pay attention to Behemoth Blitz and Splitting Umbral. I feel like these are going to be the most impactful. Let's get into the build, though. Our build this week is going to be using the Resicary Strikers. This will give us our elemental advantage. As well as already having Cunning on them, and with the Crit Pot, we'll definitely be wanting to run Cunning 6. Of course, we're using Titan's Crash and Cyclonic Strike Plate here, and moving on to the armor. Here's the armor required for the build. We're of course using Pangar Lantern for the damage, as well as the Frost Proc on Drass to keep him slow, as well as taking care of the Garys for us. It's a super useful lantern this week. Pots used are going to be Frenzy and Blitz, as well as the new Crit Pot. Crit Pot has really shown how broken OP it is after last week. And the cells that we're taking is 6 Kylas, 6 Cunning, 6 Iceborne, 6 Rage, 3 Berserker, 3 Conduit, 3 Discipline, and 3 Wild Frenzy. Pretty standard build here. We got the 6 Kylas to work with the potions that we were taking. And the plus 6 Cunning works so well with the new Crypt Tonic. Giving us an extra crit chance as well as crit damage. We should have a pretty likely chance to crit. As well as a huge amount of crit damage on top of that. Should be pretty good for our damage. And then we're of course taking Ice Worm because I'm a bot. We have 3 Berserker, 3 Wild Frenzy. These can be switched over to whatever you feel if you want to run 6 Berserker or 6 Wild Frenzy. Whatever you're really feeling, but I like the 3 Zerker, 3 Frenzy split. And then just to get a little bit more attack speed, we have 3 Conduit in here. This will really help out with our attack timings with such a fast attacking behemoth like Drask. Especially with him rocking behemoth blitz. Alright, let's get into the fight. We're going to run right in and pot up. Uh, Drask is actually moving around the arena, which I was a little bit surprised by. So he's kind of actually in the back of the arena. Not much issue. We just run up to him and start our combos anyways and get our mantras up and running. This is actually the very first time I've ever done this trial. So I was a little bit unsure of what to expect. The only time I fought Drask was in Umbral Escalations. So I'm a little bit unfamiliar with him as well as a behemoth. So I tried my best to dodge his attacks here, but uh, we're definitely going to be getting hit. He does kind of derp out a lot and do a lot of turning around, so that does work on our favor. That's just kind of his behavior. But he's got a lot of wide sweeping attacks that we're going to want to make sure that we dodge. We get a stagger here, which is really nice. Get some really good damage in. And we should be uh, hard focusing his head. We're looking for a head break as well as just, you know, the, the staggers. Um, back up here for I don't know what reason. He just wanted to get backwards. We do get the head break here, which is super nice for our time as well as our damage. Helping extend his duration on the ground. We get hit by the tail swipe once again. If you do dodge that tail swipe the first time, you don't have to dodge the second tail swipe. We're just going to want to keep him by his head and keep flapping that head. Try to get as much damage onto it as we possibly can. Possibly get staggers, get part breaks. He drips out a little bit here at the end and one final clap finishes him off. Pretty easy sub three, if you ask me. Our power levels have gotten crazy. Cretonic is definitely doing work. Should be no problem. Good luck, guys.